Hello friends, welcome to yet another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to integrate beautiful looking charts into our WordPress websites dynamically from the tabular format of data. For this feature, we are going to use the Chart Builder plugin. You can find the link of that plugin in the description. First of all, you can install this plugin. After that, you can click on Add New. As soon as you click on Add New, you will get various options of charts. You can integrate line chart, bar chart, pie chart. You can also integrate a donut chart, org chart, geo chart, whatever types of chart you want to integrate. Let's select a pie chart uh, or let's select a column chart for this example. We'll click on next and it will give us a dynamically generated uh, data chart it will give us some dummy data here with a chart in here so uh, this is a manual way of adding the data in this uh, plugin so where you can manually add columns and rows and uh, you can you know keep editing the information that you want for example you want to change it to months and uh, maybe you want to change it to income and maybe expenses so you can do that here you can uh, delete some of the rows if you want to and uh, you can uh, simply add uh, the months here Jan the income is 100 expenses 80 Feb income is uh, 120 expenses 100 March income is 150 expenses 100 again and you can click on show on chart and this information will come up in in a form of a beautiful chart here now this is one way of adding data where you can manually add the data there are other dynamic ways of adding the data as well for example you can directly connect it to the database for this you will require to have some knowledge of mysql and mysql queries i recommend skipping this part if you are a non-coder so that's not something which you want to do Next, you can also import the data from a CSV file. You can select uh, a CSV file here. They've given an example CSV. You can uh, click on the example. You can simply download it. I'll download it here. It's already there though. So I'll open this CSV file. And here we can see again, month, income, out outcome, we can change it to expenses or if you want to make some other kind of uh, revenue and uh, net profit you can do that as well so we'll just change that to revenue and net profit okay and uh, we'll, we'll do it for four months 100 and uh, your profit can be 25 maybe 80 is a revenue and your profit is 50 dollars let's uh, change this to let's say 200 and your revenue net profit is 50 and uh, maybe 120 and your profit is only 20 so your csv is ready example one dot csv this is the csv file name I can simply import this. I'll click on choose file. I'll go to the downloads folder where I have saved this and I'll click on show on chart and we'll be able to see the revenue and the net profit in a form of a chart. So apart from that, you can also connect the data directly from your Google Sheets. For this, first of all, you'll require to integrate your console account to your wordpress okay so uh, please pay attention this is uh, something which uh, takes some time for you and uh, you need to make sure that you pay attention to get it absolutely right so first of all we'll go to this page that is the integration page here in the setting and uh, First of all, we will require to go to the console.developer.google.com. So I'll just uh, go there on that uh, specific uh, web page. Now, if you have never been here, 
this also helps you integrate your uh, uh, SMTP mail via Gmail uh, with your website. Okay. So first of all, on the top, uh, you will be able to see some uh, project name. If you have never set up a project, you will be able to see some new project name. So first of all, you can click on the drop down. You can select from any of the project or you can click on new project. So I recommend you click on the new project options there. You can rename this to whatever project name you want to give. So I'll just uh, rename it to chart builder uh, organization. You can skip that step and you can click on create. This may take a few seconds for your project to be created. Once it is created, you can click on select project. After that, you require to go to the auth consent screen. So this will be your first step where you'll go to the auth content screen after creation of your project. Here you require to mention that your user type is going to be external and then you will need to click on create. Once that is done, you will need to give some app name here. So I'll just give it the name of chart builder one. You can provide the support email ID. You require to provide a support email ID. This will be your Gmail ID. Then you can scroll down and you can po put in one more email ID here that will be your developer contact information. So these are mandatory things. Then you have to click on save and continue. After that, there is the scopes window. You can directly click on save and continue. The test user also you can click on save and continue. Once you are done with the auth con consent screen steps, Next, you have to go to your credentials. In the credentials, you will have to click on create credentials. And here you have to select auth client ID. The application type will be web application since we are integrating this with our website. Next, you require to uh, uh, enter authorized redirect URI. This is something which you will get from this specific setting links here. You can copy it and you can paste it here. Next, you will click on create. So it may take some time for this to be done and then you will get your credentials. So you can just copy this, your client ID. You can uh, paste it here. And then you can also copy your client secret and paste it here. You need to make sure that these are not exposed to anyone. This is a dummy project. So I will, uh, I'm showing it to you, but otherwise you should not be doing that. Once that is done, you can go back to the first tab that is enable API and services. Or you can also go to the library and you require to enable a few services here. So you, you require to search for Google Drive You can click on enter and Google Drive API. You have to click on that. You require to enable the Google Drive API. Okay, this has been enabled. Now again, we will search for Google Sheet API. Since we want our data to be coming from the Google Sheets, 
we will enable the Google Sheets API as well. We'll click on that API. And we will enable it. It may take some time for the APIs to get enabled. These two are some important steps for you to make sure that the chart builder plugin works properly with your Google Drive links. Next, you require to go to auth con consent screen again. And you require to publish your app. Push to production, you will need to click on confirm. And here your app is live. Now you can go back to your general settings. Here we have already entered the uh, credentials. Now you can click on connect. It will ask for you to log in to the same account with which you have created the API. You will have to click on advance and you have to click on go to your whatever website name is there. Now here you'll have to select all these options to make sure it works perfectly. And then you can click on continue. And your Google uh, Sheets is connected to this plugin now. Now let's just go back to the chart builder tab Here we can add a new chart. Let's select a donor chart and we'll click on connect to Google sheet here. Now we can see all the sheets that are available. Let me just create one dummy sheet for the testing purpose. I'll click on new sheet I'll name this as percentage of web traffic and here I'll write the serial number or we can skip the serial number we can write source and percentage traffic so i'll name it as google 50 percent youtube 25 percent facebook 15 percent and Instagram 10% so the total comes to 100 we can save this we'll go back here we'll select okay here we have got uh, percentage of web traffic so I think we can search for it or maybe I'll have to refresh this page once. So let me do that. We'll select a donor chart. Click on next. Google sheet. Percentage of web traffic is visible here. Now we'll click on show on chart. And here we have the data on the chart. We can go to the settings and we can change the styles whatever we want to we can change the tool deep legends whatever we want we can change from here now I'll give this a name percentage of web traffic I'll click on save and close and this is the short code we have we can paste it in one of the posts or pages wherever we want to integrate this chart charts 
and here we paste it so now I'll publish this page and I'll click on view post and here we can see the percentage of uh, chart okay it's not there yet uh, let me just edit this once again okay I'll select Google Sheets here percentage of web traffic show results okay I'll click on save query show on chart now I'll click on save and close now let me refresh it and here we have the final results so we have got Google 50% Instagram 10% 15% from Facebook and YouTube so I hope you guys learned something new this is an amazing plugin you can check out the link from the description have a great day ahead